In this video, I'll show you how to add overlays to your CapCut projects. An overlay is something that sits over top of something else. Let's add our primary footage. I'll tap on the plus sign and select this first clip here. This is going to be the main video footage that will appear in the timeline. So I'll select it until it appears in the bottom left hand corner and then tap on add from the bottom right. Since it was recorded on my iPad, it comes into the project at the dimensions for my iPad. But I'm going to be uploading this video to my YouTube channel where you're watching it now. So the first thing I'm going to do is format it for YouTube. As I said in the beginning of the video, an overlay is something that appears over top of something else. Oh. CapCut is free to use. There are no in-app purchases or paid features. So this is one of the reasons why I like it. If you've seen most YouTube videos, you might see a subscribe button appear in the bottom left or right hand corner of the video which reminds you the viewer to subscribe to the channel once the video is over. Let me show you how easy it is to add one of those as an overlay in CapCut. You can either play the video until it gets to the spot where you want to put your overlay. I'm going to place my overlay right here so I'll tap on overlay and then add overlay. When I do you'll see the clip selection window reappear. I'll choose my green screen clip. You can preview a clip by long pressing on it and then tapping in the circle in the upper right hand corner and then tapping on add in the lower right hand corner. The overlay appears below the primary footage. Then I will use CapCut's chroma key options to remove the green background and the subscribe animation will sit on top of the main video track. To do that I'll select my overlay the green screen clip on the bottom below the primary footage. Tap on chroma key. With color picker selected, I'll move it over top of the green color and then turn up the intensity. I'll tap intensity and just move the slider to the right. Try not to move the slider too much to the right because this may distort your clip, but try to remove as much of the green color as you can. When you're done, tap on the check mark in the bottom right hand corner. If you need to, Make adjustments to the intensity by long pressing on the slider knob and moving it left or right. Now I'll scrub back a bit and play the subscribe animation through. You should hear my audio. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this, usually pre-recorded but sometimes live. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date when new videos are posted. Now tap the export icon to begin exporting the video. Don't interrupt the export at any point while it's happening because if you do, your video may not export properly and you'll have to do it again. Just wait patiently for the export to finish. Once the export is finished, tap on done and you'll be taken to the main project screen. You can find your completed video inside your camera roll. It should be the last thing you recorded.